Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to install Spring Toolsuite, which is also known as STS on Windows. So STS is an IDE where you can code. In case if you do not have STS or if you do not want to install STS, you can install Spring Toolsuite plugins in your existing IDE. Once you have those plugins installed in your machine, you are good to go. All right. But in this video, we are just going to focus on how to install Spring Toolsuit version 4 on Windows machine. All right. So that being said, let's begin the video. So I'm going to start the browser. Now I'll simply open the another tab and I'll put google.com. So I'll just type download Spring Toolsuit. Just hit the very first link. Now, as part of this video, because I'm using a Windows 10 at the moment, so I will simply go ahead and click on 4.8.1 Windows version. All right. So I'll simply click on, I'll just download that file in one of my folder on my desktop. Now here you can see that this is an executable jar file, right? Now, before we go ahead and install this particular STS tool in my machine, we just need to make sure that we have Java installed prior. All right. So now here you can see that I have Java 1.8 already installed on my machine. Let's exit out of this one. Now, actually there are two ways to install this particular jar file. One is what you can do is you can extract and second option you can run this one as a jar. Run Java platform. So I'll show you the both options. So one is if you approach one, what it says simply right click on the jar file and then click on extract files or extract here second option what it says you click on open with and select java platform right select this particular jar file so i'll simply click on extract files okay so one so this is the most easiest way so now if i click here so here you can see that we have another gif file contents so i just need to extract this one as well this is quick should not take much time but i prefer the second approach and i'll show you why all right so if i go to contents and here i'll see sts release 4.8 and here is my folder called sts plugin so now if i click on this particular exe right so it will start the ide so if i click on this one now you can see here spring tool suit which is the id now here you have to select the workspace so you wherever you want you can select so i'll just simply go to work space select launch so it will just start the ide that you can see here now you can simply go ahead and create a spring boot based project click here create new spring starter project and then you can play with the second approach which i prefer to do so now i'll show you another approach so what i will do here is that i'll simply select the jar file right click and select open with java platform you click on this one and in a moment you will see the extraction that you can see here that this guy is extracting it says okay so let me just retry open okay so now you can see here the extraction 38 percent yeah and here also you can see a folder STS 4.8.1 point release. So if you go with the second approach, you will not see the additional folders or directories or files. You will simply have the STS 4.8 release folder and there you will have the exe to run the or to start the STS plugin, right? So if I go inside this one, I can directly go and hit the STS Spring Tool Suit 4.0 exe. Now I believe you know the difference. If you use the approach one, you will see some additional files which you do not want. And if you go with the approach two, you will just have only STS release package and there you will have your exe to start the IDE, right? Now that you can see here, this guy is asking me to select the workspace. So I'll just go back to the same C drive and I will select the STS workspace again here as well. 
uh, C drive and I'll go and select STS this as the default and do not ask again it is all up to you but for now I'll simply keep this as is and click on launch so it will just restart the IDE okay so now you can see our IDE is up and running started now if you want to try out if you want to create a spring boot based project you can go to file new spring starter project click you can just give a name demo example hello whatever you want let me just call it hello now here you see whatever your project name is that is your name of your artifact and your group name and your package name should always be same it's like a good practice okay and here the build type maven java version i'll go with java 8 packaging jar or war file let's keep it jar and let's click on next so here you need to select all your dependencies but for now we'll just select one which is web bring web dependency and click on next click on finish so you will see your new project in a moment here that you can see here hello and here you can see import getting started content so basically now your id is downloading all the required jar files and supporting libraries for your spring based project all right so let me just expand this one now you see you have got all your files and folders so if you go here hello application so this is your main class or main file for your project which will start your spring boot based web application okay now just before i or if you want to test you what you can do is simply right click on this file right click and click on run as spring boot app so it will start your application allow so in case if you want if you go to the pom.xml file where you will see all your dependencies now in case if you want to modify or update you can either create an entry here or if you do not want to create an entry what you can do is right click and click on spring starter add starters so here you can add more dependencies you can just choose whatever you want for example i want s2 database which is an in, in memory database provided by spring boot so if i click on next and so you see this guy will modify your pom.xml file so now here you can see a new entry created for you right and if you see here your application has already started on tomcat port number 8080 all right so we'll talk about other things in the next video the intention of this video is to explain how to install sts on windows 10 machine and there are two approaches so i would suggest just go with the second approach which is much better and easier all right thank you for watching bye for now